Hi, today we have one figure in which we have to find the area of this peach shaded portion, this portion. We have to find the area of this portion which is inscribed inside a rectangle, right? So we have to find the area of this portion. So how to find the area of such figures? See, if we see properly, this particular area is actually sandwiched between two shapes, right? The outer shape is a rectangle, which I am going to call ABCD. And the inner shape is also a rectangle, but of smaller dimensions. So let's call that E, F, G, H, right? So one method of finding the area of this ring in peach color is to find the area of outer rectangle, which is length multiplied by breadth. So the length in this case is 8 units and the breadth is 6 units. So the area will be 48 square units, right? And what will be the area of inner rectangle, which is EFGH, it is equal to length here is 5 units and breadth is 4 units. So it will be 5 multiplied by 4, that is 20 square units, right? So what will be the area of the portion colored in peach? So area of that portion will be the area of outer rectangle that is 48 square units minus the area of the inner rectangles which is 20 square units, right? So it will be 48 minus 20, 28 square units, right? So this is one method of finding the area of such figures. There is one more method in which you can do certain constructions and then find the area. So that method is you convert it into rectangles. Like if I do these constructions over here from point G and point F, this area will be one rectangle, right? This is a rectangle. Similarly, if I do few more constructions from point E and point H like this, I will convert the remaining area into few more rectangles, right? This is one rectangle and then this will be one rectangle. And below also we will have one more rectangle. So in the second method, you can find the areas of these rectangles and then add those areas and then you will be able to find the area of inscribed portion. So if we use this procedure and try to find the area, so the area of, if we call this blue rectangle as one and this blue as two, so area of blue rectangle one will be, its width is one and length is five, so it will be five square units and similarly area of blue rectangle 2 will also be 1 multiplied by 5 that is 5 square units, right? And if we talk about the rectangle which I have shaded in red, its area will be area of rectangle in red will be its width is 2 and length is 6 so it will be 6 multiplied by 2 that is 12 square units and if we talk about the rectangle in green it is of dimension 1 by 6 so the area of rectangle in green will be 6 multiplied by 1 that is 6 square units right so the total area of figure will be we have to add all these sub areas of the rectangles which we have found while dividing that figure into rectangles. So 5 plus 5, 10, plus 12, 22, plus 6 is 28. So the area of that figure will be 28 square units. 
which is actually the same as the area which we have found in our earlier method right so whichever method you apply you are going to get the same area so which method is to apply depends purely on the type of figure you have